With Valentine's Day just around the corner, I've got a really simple way to impress your loved one. We've got a sexy, simple chicken for two, and then to finish it off, a flowerless mocha chocolate cake with a bit of theater at the end. And we're gonna do things in reverse. I'm gonna showcase the importance of how to have a dinner with your loved one and cook at the same time. So Joe, come in here tight, mate. We're gonna do our cake first. We're gonna bake the base of our cake. We're gonna melt some butter. So it's got those amazing antioxidants, which is gonna be good for you, but actually you're an aphrodisiac. So you wanna bring it down to a really nice ribbon consistency, and then you can take it off the heat and bring it together with your brown sugar. It's time to get started on our eggs. You've got four eggs here. You can use an electric whisk. I've got the trusty manual egg beater. This is where I can get a little naughty, get some chocolate sauce on you. So gradually add your cacao. It makes it easier to stay light and fluffy. And then no mocha cake would be a mocha without a little bit of espresso. Okay, now the final step is to get your lovely chocolate sauce and then just add it gradually to your egg mix. Okay, so then grab some butter, a baking tin, and just grease it up around the edges. So give it a bit of a pat down and that's gonna release all those extra bubbles and then she's ready to go in the oven. 375 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes or until the skewer comes out clean from the center. All we have to do is cook that amazing, amazing main course and it's super easy. So let's get kickstarted on that one too. So to go with our really awesome juicy chicken, you want something to soak it up. So we've got some potatoes, plenty of seasoning of salt and pepper, some garlic, and then some aromats and some thyme and some rosemary, some hard herbs. The best thing about it is this is a dish that you can prepare in advance, still fresh, super tasty, but then you get to actually spend time chatting and enjoying the company of your loved one. Okay, so with your chicken, now just season with a good sprinkling of salt on the skin, because that will draw that moisture and make sure it gives it that crispness that we all love. Drizzle of olive oil into your pan. A little sprinkling of pepper. Just on the flesh side. Get a bit of a bash on. Just loosen them up a little bit because you get the little fluffy, extra crispy bits to kind of come about. This is how easy it is, all right? So then lay them out. A little bit of extra olive oil, some salt and pepper, and that's your base for the amazing chicken, which we've got ready right now. So we've crisped up the skin. The underneath needs a little bit of extra cooking but it's ready to go into the oven whenever you are. Okay, now to make a little sauce, pour off your excess fat. But see all this golden goodness at the bottom of the pan? That is where the extra flavor is gonna come from for your sauce. And what we're gonna soak our charred broccolini in. We're gonna deglaze the pan now to soak it all up. I'm using apple cider vinegar. You can use a white wine. I've got some thyme, some rosemary. Might add a bit of garlic too, why not? There you have it, my legends. Happy Valentine's Day to you and that special someone. Red wine, chocolate cake, an amazing sauce, and of course, a feast that will impress anybody. I'm DC. Check you next week for another tasty episode on this Wicked Channel. Woo!